Guys, James from Adrenaline here. I got an email last week that I thought I would make a little quick video about. Um, I've seen some people say on forums and on Facebook that they're real excited that True Private Label is back to paintball. And I got an email from someone saying, what does people mean, uh, what do people mean when they say a True Private Label? So I thought I'd make a little quick video to try to explain that a little better. Um, so what I've done is I've disassembled a shocker. Uh, my, it's my personal team, CVO. And I'm basically going to show what we're going to keep uh, with our adrenaline shocker and uh, what we're going to replace and modify. So as we look at all the parts here, some of them I kept together just to make it a little easier, both on me and on, on the video. Um, the bolt assembly, uh, most of this is being replaced. The, the rear uh, cap and the release system is being changed. The uh, bolt itself obviously is getting ice coating, and so I didn't want to take that little more part than I had to. So that is going into replace modify pile. The uh, this is Olivia. She's my helper. Uh, this is the grips. They're getting replaced uh, with a dark, not a wood color grip, but like a charcoal black uh, wood uh, machined grip. Uh, next is the body. Obviously the body itself is one of the core items that we're changing. Um, it's pretty radical. I'm excited for you to see it. That's about all I'm going to say about that. So that's a replace. Uh, sure. We'll do the barrel next. We're going to keep the barrel just like it is. Uh, the rubber grip that's going out. Uh, our foregrip is a one piece design and includes it does go there. It does go there, baby. But we'll just keep it there for now. Uh, the ASA um, and knob that is out. This whole system is getting replaced with, uh, because we're doing our own frame, which I'll talk about next, uh, we can reroute the air, which we have on the XLS and CVO, which enabled us to use the Lux ASA and the pull bar rather than the knob. Much more professional looking. Uh, trigger that is being replaced. Olivia, put everything. Don't no. Leave this here. You're not being a good helper. Um, trigger spring. The arm is we're keeping. The spring itself is getting replaced. Uh, the reg we're keeping. There's a little bit more inside the reg, but that's the that's the main part that wasn't worth taking out. The you want to keep that? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not keeping it. We're changing it. Uh, low rise. It is. If you want the low rise option, it will be the same. If you get the mid rise, it's being replaced because this is a CVO. We'll consider it a replace on our XLS. It'll be the same. Our vision eye covers or ball detent. Stop, Olivia. <laughs> will be replaced. Um, the grip screws. Actually, not sure on that. I'll put them on keep for now. The uh, stainless steel ones we may use, but on our black ones we may use uh, 1911 black ones just so it's all murdered out. Um, no performance option, but our difference, but uh, we may change these on some of the units. Uh, the control arm and the solenoid parts we are keeping. Um, this goes to that. And the trigger frame. Um, it is actually being changed radically. All this is gone, obviously, to allow for the timer. Uh, we have a uh, new safety. I left the safety in, but as you know, that's getting changed. This is going to be a little bit bigger for those who want to use trigger shoes. Um, and uh, we have our own spring, obviously, like I talked about. Some of them have timer in the back. Uh, and then we redesigned the air on the bottom so that the Lux style ASA uh, can work. And it's, that's with the CVO and the XLS. So here's a, again, there's more parts if you really exploded this gun, but this is the bulk of, of the parts. So a true private label basically is something like this. You know, we're spending about a year on this gun, and this is the pile that we're basically starting over on uh, to some extent. Some of them will be just modified. Most of them will be uh, made from scratch. Let's see, all that except the bolt will be starting from scratch with our own design. Um, and this is the stuff we're keeping. A barrel, reg, and the solenoid control arm, and a couple screws. 
So anyway, that's a video way of answering the question. That's kind of what I explained in the email to the guy, but I thought it'd be nice to show everyone what we're doing. And it's kind of like this on the XLS as well. Uh, all right, I'll have another video hopefully next week with some more updates. Thanks.